40 instead. So the next talk is by Tang Lee from the University of Maryland. I'm um, going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to talk about the iMechanica experience. This is communication between mechanicians on technical subjects. Uh, Tang is one of the co-founders of iMechanica. Before I start, I would like to thank uh, Ravi and also uh, US Entry Time for this kind of invitation for me to be here uh, to share with you uh, uh, some experience we accumulated over the years on the exploration uh, using the iMechanica.org, uh, leveraging, essentially leveraging the cyber infrastructure uh, to pursue the uh, engineering research and education and uh, the uh, presentation I'm going to uh, uh, present uh, is a collaboration with uh, Ji Gang Suo. Um, uh, with Ji Gang Suo, I helped uh, co uh, founded iMechanica back in 2006. Um, in the same year, my son was born. So over the years, I've been watching my son growing and thriving into a teenager now. And also, uh, I mechanica growing and thriving over the years. It's like my third baby, so it's really nice to look back now and uh, 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 share with you some of our uh, experience. Uh, so, uh, in the last ten to fifteen years, you really see a, a, a paradigm uh, shift of the web services uh, going from the in the old days uh, so-called web 1.0 uh, to the web 2.0. Um, in old days, it's about owning the content, and now it's all about sharing. Right? So on the database, or almost like a real time, many people are sharing information and data with other people. Uh, in old days, we read, and now we also read and write. Um, in old days, we have Netscape, and now it's gone, and it's all about Google, of course, many others. Um, in old days, it's all about big companies, and now it's about online communities we try to build. Um, home pages versus blogs, and uh, wired uh, computers now is wireless with our smartphone, the internet with you all the time. Um, and uh, uh, old days, the internet was very slow, and uh, coming into 2019, and we are talking about 5G, right? So we know it's revolutionary could be potentially change our life significantly. So um, in this uh, tag plot, uh, you can see a lot of keywords about the themes of Web 2.0. And uh, this, uh, interestingly, the, this tag plot itself is a product or a feature of Web 2.0, right? This uh, user contributed data generated this image. So um, quite some years ago, uh, uh, Professor Mike Wetch at the Kansas State University, he put together a, a short video, less than five minutes, talk about uh, his vision about Web 2.0. Um, I was inspired at that time, and, and, and when I was preparing this talk, I revisited this uh, video. I was still very impressed and surprised amazed by his vision about this. And it's still re very relevant after many years you watch this video. So I'm gonna, uh, since it's very short, I'm gonna play this. I don't know if the audio works. I'll try this.
Okay. I hope you enjoyed the meeting. So I think it's well said. Um, so you will see that uh, quite a few features uh, in this video was uh, will, uh, showed up in the uh, iMechanical explorations as well. So basically, Web 2.0 and the web services radically changed how we obtain, store, access, and manage the information uh, through the internet. And also been, bring up uh, new opportunities to uh, uh, innovate and at least help us to rethink uh, how we conduct the research and the education. So that's actually exactly the motivation uh, 13 years ago uh, when we started to uh, uh, launch the iMechanica.org uh, to pursue along this line. So the, this is the mission of the iMechanica.org. Uh, basically, it's a web of mechanics and the mechanicians. Uh, the mission of uh, iMechanica is to use the internet to enhance communications among mechanicians and also along the way uh, to evolve all the informations and the knowledges of mechanics online. So that's the key. So it aimed to be the online platform for the discipline of mechanics uh, and will not only preserve the knowledge in mechanics, but also influence the, its future development. So I'll showcase some of the effort, uh, uh, signature event, and uh, uh, things over there at the iMechanica.org happening on the daily time, how we strive to uh, achieve these missions. And in steady state, the discipline, the mechanics, and its online platform, which is the iMechanica.org, should co-evolve. So that's something uh, we were in the mind at the early stage of this. So um, in this room, I'm, I see quite a few people who are the, have been the early adopters, users, and contributors of iMechanica.org. Uh, so it was launched in uh, September 9, 2006, but that is after almost like uh, more than uh, 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 um, nine months of exploration of an earlier version of that. Uh, so in that video, you see the uh, blogger.com. So that's actually exactly the very first version of the uh, iMechanica. So it's so-called uh, Applied Mechanics News. So one of the very early posts in that web page I want to show you here Escape the uh, presentation here. Let me see. Okay, do this. This is actually the very first version of iMechanica called Applied Mechanics News. This is the very first, uh, I think, is either the second or the third entry. Uh, uh, in that, uh, this is a single blog. It's actually about Professor K. S. Kim won the uh, 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 two hundred thousand <laughs> prize uh, back in two thousand five, end of two thousand five. Um, so, uh, but after about half a year of running in this uh, 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 single blog mode, we developed a few other sister blogs, as you can see from the sidebar here. Uh, 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 applied Mechanics News, uh, research and the researchers, conferences, um, and uh, I can show you that. And then eventually, it's different from the, yeah. And back in uh, September, and this is the last post that we put over there, that we're migrating to iMechanica. Dot org. So uh, the limitation at that time was this is only three to four blocks over there. Only a very limited number of people can post content. So the whole community are reading from those few people. So we want almost everyone can contribute their uh, uh, content. So um, we launched this uh, iMechanica.org where everyone can have their own blog to contribute. The content. So, uh, as you can see, that this is the data from the early stages. First, uh, uh, 1,500 days of uh, since launch of iMechanica 
Uh, this plot shows the number of registered users of iMechanica in the early days. And you can see that it quickly goes through uh, uh, 10,000, uh, 20,000. And uh, uh, I remember uh, the number, one number I learned from uh, uh, Jigong was the registered member of ASME Applied Mechanics Division is on order of 6,000. But this one number is still growing on a daily base. So as of today, uh, uh, there were tens of thousands of registered users over there. And all of them uh, are reading, and many of them contribute. So we have 23,000 posts and uh, 30,000 comments over there. And as you can see, the evolution of numbers of a post and the comment uh, over the time. So let me show you, uh, for those of you who are not uh, very familiar with this, uh, how it works. So this is the front page of iMechanica. Um, so all the content in iMechanica are contributed by the registered users. Once you register, you register and it's approved, then you can start to have your own blog. Right over there, you can start to post. And uh, all the content you post are freely accessible to everyone in the world with the internet access. And people registered, they can also comment on your post. So that's a typical blog and the comment, uh, the way it works. And all the contents, different people contribute to different things, are uh, aggregated into different channels simply by assigning or uh, uh, giving the different tags, as you see in the tag plot. So uh, research channel, education channel, mechanician, opinion, software, industry, conference, job, uh, video. For example, if uh, uh, Horacio, you would like to recruit a few postdocs, as I know you did <laughs> in, in, in back uh, last year or several years ago, and you make a post here, and then people start to see the job opening and start to send invitations. I mean, send uh, CV and the packages uh, to the uh, uh, email address over there. And uh, um, oftentimes, uh, we receive uh, emails from uh, especially uh, industry uh, where they have uh, uh, job openings after a couple of months, or sometimes even shorter, they email us, can you delete our job ad because we received too many applications. But we don't really delete any post unless it's a spammer post. Uh, so we try to keep all the uh, uh, content in this iMechanica.org. Uh, so what's the rate of the main landing or the uh, This one? No, the main landing. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, let me show you this. This is the front page. So uh, we have the signature event of so-called journal club. I'll, uh, 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 explain in more detail to showcase how we, uh, the I mechanic how people to do research. Um, I'll be there. So for example, if you click the research channel, so this is a, uh, a screencast I did a few days ago, as you can see here. Uh, this uh, Arash is uh, sharing his paper on elastodynamics transformation cloaking, uh, dedicated to the, uh, for the occasion of uh, the uh, Professor Bazant, 80 uh, years birthday. Um, and this is a colleague, I believe, uh, in Purdue, uh, a few days ago, uh, sharing his research uh, paper on the uh, uh, 3D printed uh, material, their crystal plastic uh, modeling. And, uh, and this is, I believe, is from uh, Louisiana State University, uh, Prashant Jha. Uh, talking about the uh, uh, paradynamics fracture model. So it's contributed by different researchers from any corner of the globe. We have, uh, over the years, we see, uh, uh, we have been always been amazed and surprised by the uh, users registering at iMechanica.org. And we got to know that there were many mechanics researchers at so many corners around the globe. Um, and you see, these are the tags. When uh, Rajan was posting, he chose to assign those tags over there. So then, the, so this post will be categorized 
into those tags. So whoever posted the other posts with a similar tag, when you click this, for example, additive manufacturing, all those posts related to 3D printing will be aggregated together automatically. You don't have to do anything, so you can have a collective view of the recent progress in certain topics. Uh, you can add comments uh, if you are interested to interact with the uh, uh, original post. Uh, it's just as easy as writing an email and writing a comment is just like you are sending back your uh, uh, replying an email. It's very simple. Uh, you can post many things, not just a pure test. You can also post the images over there, uh, uh, share uh, Word document, PDFs, PowerPoint, uh, even YouTube videos. And uh, we know that the uh, video is worth more than 1,000 words. And uh, it's real time updated. We have the uh, two sidebars. So you ask about what's in the center. On the two sidebars are the real update of the ongoing post and the ongoing comment over there. Uh, and also the popular post will pop up uh, to the front. So. Uh, we have actually, later on I'll show you, we have a, a group of volunteers serve as the moderators, because if only two of us are reading this, uh, uh, you know, it's not very efficient. So we have a, a group of uh, volunteers around the world, they help, uh, if they identify something interesting, they will help to promote as well. Okay. So Journal Club is a flagship uh, feature of iMechanica. So uh, the idea was proposed by Pradeep Sharma uh, uh, in the uh, uh, late 2006. We launched the uh, Journal Club in January 2007. It's a monthly uh, discussion topic led by a discussion leader. So this post you will see, uh, like this one, will stay up to the top of the front page, stick there for a calendar month, and then the discussion leader will write up a post. Show you what's really going on right now. For the let's use the current discussion topic here. You see, it's at the at the center of. Um, that's why it's okay. Excuse me. Try to. Show first coming to the here to the front page. This is the front page. As you can see, that the, uh, the current journal club is at the top of the front page. It'll stay there for a month. If you click it, the getting opened up this page. It's just a slow internet. Mm -hmm. We need a 5G. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's a visitor. Mm. It was, oh, okay. Here we go. So I opened up this uh, uh, current discussion uh, topic. Uh, uh, it's by uh, Dr. Ruo Bing Bai, I believe. Uh, he was a PhD student in Ji Gang Su's group. Uh, he summarized uh, and lead the discussion on the fatigue of hydrogel. Um, so the format of this is, so the discussion leader will write a mini review on the acting, uh, active topic or the uh, emerging topic of interest. Um, and then as you can see that this is really a mini review of this. You can post uh, the key figures uh, here, and you can also put a list of uh, uh, references over there to help people start to read. And let me show you this number here. This is almost the end of the month. So this post so far has been read 16,000 times. So more than 500 times per day. So how many times our paper will be read? 
<laughs> our most cited paper, right? So this is orders of magnitude higher than that. So, um, and so far there are 43, 44 comments left for uh, this post. Those comments are not just like, ah, great job, Robin, okay, thumbs up. It's very in-depth discussions. Let me show you, I want to go into, into details. So someone raised a question over there and Robin was responding to that. And uh, uh, you see, these are all in-depth discussions over there and uh, oftentimes it's go multiple rounds and multiple threads and uh, he's doing a really good job here. Uh, moderating the discussion here. Okay. Uh, up to the point, I believe, uh, Jiga also chipped in to share his, his view. And as you can see, these are really in-depth discussion over there. Uh, and all the discussions, uh, the post, the comments, each of them has a permanent URL. So which means that, and there are also a timestamp on each of them. So what you said over there, what you post over there, you can hyperlink it, you can cite it if you want, and uh, actually some people cite the discussions, the hyperlink in, their, in the references of their publications. <coughs> and uh, uh, the, this is the way how it works. So let me show you, uh, this is the current uh, discussion post, and we archive all the journal club discussions over the years. As you can see here, every year we'll have 12 topics, started from 2007. And so far we're accumulating almost like 140 plus discussion topics. Those are the topics of the uh, 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 hot topics, emerging topics over the time, and oftentimes uh, many of those lead to uh, new research directions and all of them, they are there uh, if later on any people who are interested to look into the old ones, you can just click the button and go over there. Um, and the coordination of the discussion topics are coordinated by the so-called, we call it the editor of the journal club. Uh, each year there were two editors uh, uh, coordinating those. Currently this year was Christoph, or uh, Chris Top, uh, 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 Kaplinger, and Xiao Yan Li, uh, they uh, work on this, and uh, Pradeep Sharma was the uh, very first founding editor uh, back in 2007. I myself served uh, in two years as well. For example, I can click this one, let me show you. Um, back in 2007, I hosted the third discussion topic on mechanics of flexible electronics. It's still there. You can still read all the posts and all the discussions. And uh, so far, let me check. Uh, this post has been read by 36,000 times. And people still can read it. And uh, the discussion back in those days through this leading the discussion over a month really helped myself uh, um, and uh, my actually, my very first NSF grant from the Mechanics of Material and the Structures uh, 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 program as I got a lot of inspiration from hosting this, uh, this uh, journal club. So coming back to this, so the server of Amicana was hosted in the uh, School of Engineering and Applied Sciences uh, in Harvard. Uh, it's managed and uh, uh, supported by a growing team of volunteers. Uh, Ji Gang and I, as we, both of us serve as architect overseeing the uh, uh, daily running of Amicana. We have a group of uh, uh, moderators and also uh, developers help us. And uh, so, in the previous slides, I showed uh, the uh, typical ways people shared ideas, research ideas, and uh, discussions, uh, how to get uh, uh, inspired uh, for new research directions through iMechanica.org. It also uh, 
enables uh, a platform to explore the uh, education ideas in the age of Web 2.0. Uh, I'll show some uh, 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 examples. So in the old days, we have the course web page, right? So you post your lecture, uh, lecture notes over there. It's static and one way. So instructor make the post, and student download the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the lecture note. And, uh, um, and it's really hard to have the interactive communication over there. Um, and then we have the Blackboard, right? So many students adopted the Blackboard. Uh, a web course website to allow a discussion board, to uh, the, the discussion between a, the instructor and the student. But typically, those are limited to the student registering for the courses, right, and the instructor. So it's a very limited uh, 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 access over there. And typically, by the end of the semester, that website will be shut down, right? It's, it's gone. So all the discussions are gone. Um, now, in the web 2.0 age, you can do the interactive web uh, course web page. So this is one example uh, uh, when uh, John Hutchinson and Ji uh, Gang Suo, they were co-teaching a, uh, a fracture mechanics course uh, in both Harvard and also in uh, University of Nebraska. I believe the, uh, uh, the lectures were uh, uh, videotaped and uh, broadcast at a different campus real time. And here in this uh, course webpage, uh, you can have the uh, 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 tags to aggregate the, the content. And also, you can have the hyperlinks to related to the other posts, for example, different lectures of this course. And all these are posted in iMechanica.org. So not only the Harvard student and the University of Nebraska student registered for this course can see this. Everyone with a registered uh, uh, account at iMechanica can see all these lectures. And then you can participate in the discussion as well. So all the course contents are open to public, and any interest in learners, learner, uh, learners can view, download, and study the course content. Um, uh, learners can raise questions and on um, any individual lectures, notes, homework set, and leave a comment over there. Of course, if the original poster can uh, uh, have time, uh, they will uh, be able to address those questions. And you, you don't have to be the only person to answer the question, because the questions posted over there can be viewed by many other people. Anyone interested who are uh, interested to answer the question, you can post your comment to respond to the question as well. So this actually really extended the interaction beyond the, uh, the, the, between the instructor and the student to any pair of educators of learners. And, uh, in, in, the, in this uh, 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 internet age, uh, each of us uh, will typically serve both as the educator and the learner by ourselves right, at different times. So for example, uh, so far we have a web page where we aggregate uh, all the online lecture notes we can find or people contribute. It covers more than 20 mechanics branches over the, over more than uh, 70 uh, course lecture notes over there. Uh, arguably, this web page, if you go to over there, is on the sidebar of iMechanica, is the most comprehensive online collection of lecture notes on mechanics. And I've heard so many people uh, uh, told me that they have been using uh, these lecture notes available over there. Um, so it also helps us on the public outreach as well. The uh, traditional public outreach is one way. Uh, so therefore, you have limited scale and impact. So you can only go to certain places, be there physically. And uh, the public outreach 2.0 allows this two-way information flow and with a much broader scale and impact. So and everything on me iMechanica actually is free. So let me show you this example. So this YouTube video uh, was John Hutchinson was giving a talk on shell buckling, the old and the new, in the uh, New Mechanics uh, uh, Symposium. I believe that's the yeah, New England Workshop on Mechanics and Material and Structures. Um, so I couldn't be there, 
uh, either because I'm too busy or I don't have the travel funding for that. But by watching this YouTube video at imechanica.org, I can still listen to the great talk by John. So this is another uh, this post by uh, uh, Pedro, uh, as you can see, and uh, aggregated in the video channel as well. So uh, engineering education is a lifelong process, and uh, it go well beyond the uh, graduate school. And every one of us, if you do active research, we need to learn and read literatures all the time, right? Uh, so iMechanic, iMechanica brings uh, the, uh, mechanicians of common interest together and it serves as a platform for the discussion and the, uh, uh, interactions. So we don't really have any institutional uh, boundaries. Uh, anyone can participate in the discussion. It evolves all the time. All the posts and the comments has a very unique uh, URL and timestamp. And we don't delete any of them unless it's a spammer post or st spammer uh, comment. And it has a real time uh, update. So in brief summary, so this is basically a platform belongs to every one of us. So uh, Gigan typically has a say on about iMechanic. It's just like the Boston Common. If you use it, it's yours. So it's free. Um, it helps build an online lifelong learning environment without boundaries and also help harness the community-wide wisdom and uh, it's not only applicable to mechanics. I think what we are talking about here is applicable for many other disciplines as well. Uh, so, um, and we're very grateful for the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences because especially their IT office because they hosted the server for free over the years. Um, uh, and also the ASME, uh, AMD division for their endorsement and support over the time. And of course, all the iMechanica users, including many of you in the audience. Thank you. All right, uh, time for questions. Uh, German. Who came up with the name iMechanic? <laughs> uh, I don't really recall. <laughs> Well, definitely there was an I at the beginning, right? So it's an iPhone, I, iPod. No, uh, it, it predated iPod. No, it didn't. Uh, but the, it, there was iPod at that time. So there was an I, you know, internet uh, age. Um, okay. well, iPod, so I guess iPod Mechanica, started, yes, go ahead. iPhone started 2007, right? Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I sounds uh, catchy and the mechanica <laughs> is conventional, traditional. <laughs> so I, I don't know quite remember. So it's a lot of discussion at that time. Um, yeah, at the beginning we called it Applied Mechanics News, AMN, and something like that. So. Thank you uh, for this really interesting exposition on what, what you've done. Um, a question that comes up often with this sort of thing is continuity, and so you, meant, you answered a question of mine at the end, which is how is it supported, and did you have a guarantee of longevity, or did that's you... That's a very good question. Uh, can you transfer if you need to? I mean, I yeah. guess that's the... the so, the, I think luckily, if you think about this, nowadays the cost to store data is extremely low. Right. But it's, all it's the content, non zero though, right? It's yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, the, the, all the content uh, uh, for the over the 30 years accumulated in iMechanica, maybe just a small corner of the hard drive uh, or a cloud uh, uh, in, in Amazon web service. Mm -hmm. um, so far, we didn't receive any financial support. Uh, the server was maintained by the IT department at Harvard. Uh, so far, we don't have much issue, uh, except over the years, we got a few times of the spammer attack because mm -hmm. the website becomes too popular and then they start to attack and shut down and then recover mm -hmm. and also upgrade the, uh, the software. The software is open source, which is free as well. 
Um, we do have some challenges. Uh, we don't really have much manpower on the maintenance side. So that you can see that my plot of the evolution of the number of registered users stopped somewhere <laughs> because uh, we got some technical challenges. I myself, Jiga, I don't think we have the expertise to tackle those issues, but it's minor issues. Um, as long as the server is there and someone is generously helped to <laughs> provide the web service, it's there. Uh, but I agree with you that there was some potential risk over there. Uh, well, no, I was. It, I, I, it's not a question about mm -hmm. this site particularly. It's a question yeah. for you know if one does this in other circumstances, mm -hmm. what are the sort of things to consider? Yeah. And yeah. So, so as you said, it's all stable, and that's great. Yeah, so far it's quite stable. It's uh, uh, still thriving. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe in the early days uh, there was a proposal submitted to NSF about this, but it was not funded. We got a mixed reviews. But if you look back, uh, many of the proposed effort deliverables have been achieved without financial support. But then you can argue that do you really need the financial support? So anyway, so we managed to do up to now. Yeah. Uh, the, the journal club feature that's a flagship of the uh, iMechanica is really interesting. Is there uh, a waiting list to be to, to be the discussion moderator? Is somebody you know these are people? Yeah. If you if you see uh, uh, those discussion topics and also discussion leaders, many of them are relatively younger researchers and the earlier career of the academia career, and uh, we also uh, have the uh, other ways like a, a, a more junior researcher with uh, the help of a more senior researcher uh, co-hosting a discussion post like uh, Professor K.S. Kim. He co-hosted this uh, Ruga Mechanics with his uh, research scientist, uh, uh, I believe it's two years ago uh, or last year, yeah. So uh, the topic of interest uh, uh, can be self-nominated and can also be appointed, appointed by the uh, uh, editor of the journal club. So uh, it's uh, different uh, ways you can be a discussion leader there. Uh, I'm quite sure that 2019 is still wide open. Uh, there was <laughs> few slots uh, uh, filled up, but uh, I actually I uh, contacted uh, uh, Christoph a few days ago, and he's still actively seeking uh, new dis discussion leaders. So if you do have a colleague or yourself want to uh, dis uh, lead a discussion, feel free to contact the Dear. editor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I think this is fantastic. And if I compare it with uh, fluid mechanics, I'd say we're still in the web 1.0 area. You know, there's some discussion blogs and so on, but, but there's nothing like this. And I know that nothing that you said here said just solid mechanics, it's mechanics. But unfortunately, there's been a phase separation. But you know, if we were to promote this, which I think it would be wonderful, would you be able to scale this to accommodate a thousand fluid mechanicians suddenly adding to this? Or should we think about an iFluid Mechanica as a separate thing? <laughs> but I would love to see the fluid mechanics. So as the name up. suggests, it doesn't exclude Anyone. Anyone. So you can, uh, if you have 1,000 fluid mechanics researchers registered today, let me know. We'll be more than happy to host all of them because the uh, the web traffic, the uh, cost of uh, storage of the data is almost nothing. The key success, key to the success of a platform like this, is actually the participation of users mm -hmm. from everywhere. Mm -hmm. So the more people you participate in this, the more successful it could be. So if we can have this platform to help to get rid of the phase transfer <laughs> you know, separation, the boundary between. Recompatibilize re things, yeah. 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 Uh, well, basically yeah. what you need is a few nucleation sites <laughs> in the form of moderators. Yes. Yeah, it, it also takes uh, uh, some uh, advocates uh, in the mm -hmm. discipline to help to do the initial strives to invite and motivate more people uh, uh, to uh, participate uh, this. Yeah. 
you a quick question. Do you have any sense for the distribution of your users? Do you follow something like Pareto's rule where 20% of your users provide 80% of the content? Okay. Is there anything like okay. that? Okay, it's a very good question. I think there is a percentage, if you think about this, think about the Wikipedia. Less than 1% of the users of Wikipedia contribute. More than 99% of the users just read, right. not even comment. Right. I think it's quite a similar here. Even for that, I think still could be very successful and right. popular. Yeah, so it's, I, I think it's more of the, I think that's human nature. So it holds for Wikipedia, holds for iMechanica as well. This is a much smaller sample, but uh, surprisingly, it's the similar fashion. All right, let's thank Ding Li. Thank you. Well, we